Hello everyone, it's been so long, but guess what guys? I plan on being back every week and posting something for you every Thursday about living in this beautiful Central Virginia area, whether it be Richmond, Chesterfield, Mechanicsville, and all the activities that this beautiful place has to offer. So please subscribe so you don't miss anything. Hit the little bell button. Please comment below. And yeah, I can't wait to share with you guys the topic I have for you today. Okay, so today I will be talking about 10 things that you can do in the springtime here in RVA. Number one, are y'all ready? Enjoy a beautiful picnic on Capitol Lawn. So that is in the heart of downtown, almost in between the fan and Church Hill. It often gets overlooked as just not really a spot to hang out in, but it's such a beautiful place. It gives you such a crystal clear view of the city. It's easy to get to, it's romantic, and also a little pro tip, Fourth of July fireworks are the best there. A lot of people go to that spot and it is so epic. Next on the list and something that uh, my hubby and I used to do before kids, we would take our dogs for a walk at Hollywood Cemetery. It is truly a gem. It sounds a little scary um, and ominous, but there are presidents buried there, Confederate soldiers, and other really, really incredible political um, and important figures in Virginia. And it's just, again, the most beautiful place. Hilly, gorgeous, more amazing views of the city skyline. Please go, go take a walk on a beautiful spring day. It's truly perfect for just another easy free getaway with friends and family. Number three is look up what festivals are going on. Shamrock Fest just passed on March 11th and we have Dominion River Rock coming up May 19th through the 21st which is heart of downtown um, and it's just such a great place to be. You can definitely go listen to music, shop, walk around, so many activities. They even have like a dog jumping contest during Dominion River Rock. So many great festivals during that time and into the summer. Check it out. Number five, are y'all ready? Shopping at the South of the James River Market. It is such a great farmer's market. It's massive. It has some of the best of the best small local businesses, organic finds, delicious treats, beautiful flowers, jewelry, meats, cheeses, perfect little gifts. If you are like the most amazing gift giver and you like to personalize everything and get somebody something that is unique and one of a kind, this is the place to go. Such a great place for family, for a girls weekend, for a guys weekend, uh, walk the dogs, whatever you want. It's literally one of my go-tos. Number six is catch a movie at the Bird Theater. It's literally in Carytown, um, right in Richmond. The tickets range from four to eight dollars. They always like to play older movies, so it's not like the newer movies that just came out, but it's those great classics that you love and that you can watch like 25 times. The seats are beautiful. The theater is historical. It is just such a magical place and a very, again, cheap and affordable uh, place to go with either kids. You can make it a family night, get some popcorn, or go on a first date, romantic getaway midweek. It's just such a great spot. Number eight is taking a tour of the Virginia house. It is such, such a beautiful place, true history in Richmond, Virginia. It was relocated from England to Richmond in the 1920s. It sits on this beautiful hill overlooking the James. Again, just such a beautiful place to go do outdoor activities. And if you're a history buff, you'll enjoy it too. If you're an architecture buff and design buff like I am, you'll just love being there. Another perfect picnic spot. Number nine is one of probably my favorites is catching a squirrels game. We have one of the best baseball teams. Um, I think it's just so entertaining. It's such a great environment for again, ranging from families to a couple's night to whatever you want it to be, girls night, guys night, whatever it is. The environment is just so great and like toxic and just like toxic in a good way, like toxic exciting. Um, and their season um, opens Friday, April 7th. That's when the kickoff game starts. So, you know, we have a ton of home games you can attend. Such a fun environment, food fun for everyone. 
And of course, number 10 we cannot miss is going to Belle Isle and watching the beautiful James River Pass. It's always so serene and so calming. There is a huge suspension bridge that was recently um, built the last five years. I don't know the exact date. Um, that allows for some beautiful views as you're walking from one side to the other side. So from Richmond to Belle Isle. And then Belle Isle has a ton of hiking spots. People um, mountain climb because there's like boulders and climbing activities. There's water activities. There's of course the James with the crazy rapids large rocks for you to climb, trails. I mean, the possibilities are really endless. And then there's, of course, concerts during the summer series. Well, folks, that wraps up our 10 things to do here in the spring in Richmond, Virginia. I hope you guys enjoy that information. Um, I will try to link everything below so you can kind of click on it, get more information since I kind of ran down the list a little quickly. Please subscribe. Please comment um, if you have any questions or need any guidance on anything to do with touring Richmond, any questions about the boroughs or anything surrounding, I would love to be of assistance to you. So let me know. Catch y'all on the next one.